Hello, pre-calculus students. Um, what we're working on today is a worksheet that we had in class, and this is on page eight, and these are trig proofs. This is our first time working on trig proofs. So when we go through these trig proofs, it would be handy if you had your note card available for your identities, and um, so that you could refer to what trig identities we're using to make substitutions. So um, on this first identity, um, we're going to work with the left side, and I think on all of these we're going to work on the left side, and um, when, when we're not going to move terms to the other side of the equation. We're strictly going to work on the left side and try to get to the right side uh, in terms of things being equivalent. So on the first one, we're going to make a trig substitution for 1 minus cosine squared of x, and that is from the Pythagorean identity. And we're going to write that down as a Pythagorean identity, and then we're going to rewrite this as sine of x over cosine of x, and that would be squared, and this is a property of exponents. And this identity is done. The next one, we're going to make a trig substitution from the Pythagorean identity, so we're going to replace sine squared plus cosine squared of x with a 1. And that's just the Pythagorean identity substitution. And notice it checks out, and we're done with that identity. That was pretty easy. The next one, we're going to replace the bottom with, um, you know, remember if sine squared plus cosine squared equals 1, then 1 minus sine squared will equal cosine squared by subtracting sine squared over. So I have cosine of x over 1 um, over cosine squared of x, and that reason working down the left is a Pythagorean identity. And then um, rewriting this is just 1 over cosine of x is just the division property, or property of division. Moving on to number 4, we're going to again use a Pythagorean identity, and uh, this is just sine squared of x, and my reason would be Pythagorean identity substitution, and now division property allows me just to rewrite that as the sine of x. So that checks out with that, and my reason for the second step would be division. Last one is we have sine squared of x. I'm going to transform the bottom to cosine squared of x through the Pythagorean identity, and that will become tangent squared of x. And tangent squared of x, we're going to call this, the reason for this is the um, a quotient identity on your card. And then we're going to replace tan squared of x with secant squared of x minus 1. And that checks out with that. And because of the Pyth third Pythagorean identity on your note card, and um, that's all there is to worksheet 8. So hopefully this video has helped explain some of the decisions made when we were working on problems during um, yesterday or during us I'm sorry or when we worked on it worksheet 8 and uh, if you have any questions um, just ask me in class or send me an email okay anyway hope this helps and I'll talk to you soon